Story four, Terror of the Autons, is the Doctor is still trapped on Earth and unable, unable to use the TARDIS, but the Time Lords are looking for out, out for him. They send warning that the Master has come to Earth, and the Doctor soon discovers that the dangerous Time Lord is also working alongside the Nestine Consciousness, controller of lethal Auton creatures. Once again, the planet is in terrible danger. Can the Doctor and his new assistant, Joe Grant, save it before it's too late and the true terror of the Autons is revealed? Other than the return of the Autons, there is really only one thing you are interested in. The Master. I know the feeling, I want to talk about that too, but I want to get to the other important topics before I forget. This serial has, you know, the usual stuff, you know, great action scenes, stunts, story, and sets. I mean, some of the sets were pretty good. The visual effects, however, were a little cheesy. The blue screen moments were too obvious. Usually, I just let this slide because of the time it was made. However, it, it is just bad in this one. Especially in scenes with this plastic doll that comes alive. You could just see not much effort was put into the cropped image in the back, and the doll is just a guy in a suit. I mean, it's just that bad. And the solution at the end of the serial isn't that great of all. It was a very rushed solution, and it was just thrown in there. It was very cheap, and it was just convincing the Master to stop the Autons and the Nesting Consciousness. It is cheap, and that is all that can be said. Other than that, the serial is great and good fun. Alright, now, the companion. A new companion is introduced in this serial. Her name is Joe Grant. When watching this, I was still a little peeved that they just wrote Liz Shaw out of the series. But I soon came around to like Joe. She clearly qualifies for the job with her degrees, but she does seem a little dim-witted. <laughs> However, she says she has a degree in escapology, and that comes in handy in future episodes. But her character is what won me over. She is sweet and eager and reminds me of earlier female companions, who are just strong and yet vulnerable. And over time, becomes a good companion, I must admit. Okay, now, the one we all have been waiting for, the Master. This is THE first appearance of the villain. The name was used in the, in the serial The Mind Robber, if you remember that one, but that wasn't the same character. The master is played by the master in this is played by Roger Delgado. Roger Delgado gives the master a classic villain portrayal. He has the sense of respectability, class, and the class classic mustache twirling villain. This first incarnation has a broad range of emotions and has this great villainous look to him, almost fearless, and it, and just gives fear from his look. It is a great joy to watch him in scene, uh, watch him in scenes, and watch him and the Doctor interact. I give this serial three stars out of five. This serial begins series eight of Doctor Who, a series a series dominated by the Master, for he is in every serial as the villain. But we'll get to that later in the future ones. See you on the next review. Yeah.